What's good guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video talking about why I moved from Apple to Android. If I'm happy, would I go back to iPhone? Do I like iPhone? Da -da -da -da. Um, I'm doing this video because a few people were asking me why I have a MacBook and an iPad but not an iPhone. And then some other people were messaging me saying that they really wanna try Samsung or an Android but they're scared they're not gonna like it. They're too used to iPhone etc etc so I thought I'd make this video because I obviously was also a long time iPhone user and I'm now a huge lover of Samsung so I'm just gonna talk a bit about that with you guys so we'll take it back to the beginning so I used to have the iPhone 3GS and then I upgraded to the 4S I upgraded to the 5S and then I upgraded to the 6S um, well actually the 6S my dad bought for me as a handset and I went over to SIM only rather than paying monthly for a contract because phones come out every year so iPhone or Samsung every year bring out a new phone whereas contracts are two years so I'm always like a year behind so I decided to go to SIM only my dad bought me my iPhone 6S so because my dad bought it for me I did pick the cheapest one so I didn't get a plus and I only got the 16 gig so I got the iPhone 6S in rose gold 16 gig after some time my phone kept dying at like 40 percent um kept freezing it was just being glitchy and i was thinking did we really pay over 500 pound for this phone to not be working like it should be so at, now i know that i'm eligible for a battery replacement that's why my phone's been sucky so i can go for free to apple and get my what's going on my hair i can go to apple for free and get a battery replacement uh, the reason I haven't done so yet is because there are some apps that I've had for years on my phone that are no longer in the app store and I still use so I haven't got around to doing all that battery replacement yet. But I still have the phone, it works, it's just sometimes the battery dies but I don't use it as a main phone so uh, I just use it for music in the gym and to answer work calls so that they don't have my personal number. So. The 3GS, the 4S, the 5S and the 6S all looks completely different, like I'll post a little picture somewhere but throughout time the phone just kept changing very drastically so it made me want to upgrade and because I was happy with my iPhones I had no like battery problems with my 4S, um, obviously my 5S I thought it, my battery didn't last like that long but I wouldn't really, I didn't really look into like battery capacity and versus other phones because there was no other phones out there that I liked the look of um, I didn't I never thought that the like Samsung S3 and the S4 looked good looking at all even the S5 I thought it was hella ugly it's only when they brought out the 6 the S6 Edge I was like okay I see you Samsung that is a good looking phone but I still got the iPhone 6s because I was used to it a lot of people stay with iPhone due to just because it's easier when the iPhone 7 came out I was already hating the battery, I was hating the fact that I have to pay more for a bigger memory, which I think is rude, and just the fact that the iPhone 7 didn't look that much different to the iPhone 6s, and also they took away the headphone jack and that was a bit long. So I was thinking about getting the iPhone 7 Plus because I like the Plus phones, but at the time I was like, you know what, I'm willing to change because I kept seeing the iPhone, I kept seeing the S8, I kept seeing the S6 Edge and it was a really good looking phone, so I was thinking why not try something new? At the time, I actually bought the Huawei P9 and I didn't like that. I had that for a couple of months, but I just never got used to it. I didn't like the emojis <laughs> and I don't know, I just, it felt like a bit cheap. So my dog's snoring by the way, if you can hear that. So I got rid of the Huawei P9 and I bought the S7 Edge. This was in February 2017. So I've been a Samsung user for just over a year. I had a Samsung tablet a couple years ago. He's so cute. Everyone was buying the iPad mini and I wanted something a bit different so I got the Samsung tablet and I really liked it. So I have used like Samsung products before and then it broke. So when my old tablet broke, my boyfriend bought me this iPad Air 2. This was, he bought this for me like three years ago. So it's still going strong and I obviously had an iPhone at the time. And my, my MacBook Pro, this is like a 2015 one, I think. The reason why I bought this was for iMovie. I love this. This is the best laptop I've ever tried. It's so fast. All my laptops have been so slow. Like over time, they get really slow or they take like 10 years to turn on. This is so fast, so quick, simple dimple. I would always probably have a MacBook because I love them. I love my iPad as well. So I don't hate Apple products at all. I just think that they have not progressed as far as Samsung have. I feel like in the past few years, Apple has just kind of like stayed behind, whereas Samsung has gone whoop. Oh my God, this dog is snoring so loud. 
All right. When I film him, he stops snoring. For example, with Androids, you can put a memory card in, so you can buy the 64 gig phone or whatever phone you want, and then you could put an additional memory card in that's up to like 128 gigs. So without having to buy another phone, like with iPhone, you could buy like the 16 gig model or the 64 or the 256, whatever. So for this one, it's one phone and I can put additional memory in if I want, which I think is amazing. Another thing that I like is obviously the fact that Samsung don't have no buttons anymore. I did love a button. I was thinking I was going to feel really strange not having a button anymore, but I got used to it really quick. So now when I see iPhones, like the iPhone 8 Plus, I love the gold colour. I think it's so stunning. But I would never buy it because I'm used to having a huge screen. Why would I then go? I feel like I'm going backwards if I was to get like a phone with all that extra crap on it. So I really do like the look of the iPhone 10. I think that is a gorgeous looking phone, but the price of it is a flipping no. Like the battery capacity on my phone is much bigger than the iPhone 10. And also my screen is obviously bigger as well. So I, that's why I stuck with my bay. And also I'm used to Samsung now. I don't do like loads of customization, but that's what my home screen looks like now. So I took away, I've put my subscribe account up here instead, which I think is so cute. And that's what my phone looks like. A lot of people ask me as well how I feel about not having like FaceTime anymore. I literally never used FaceTime, so for me that was not even an issue. If you love FaceTime or if you talk to, use iMessage a lot, then maybe you should stick to iPhone. But if you don't really care and you can use like Skype or I don't know, WhatsApp, video call or something, then go for it. I think if you're happy with your iPhone and you're happy with the battery and how it looks and everything, then there's no need to try something new if you're happy with it. Like me before, because I was happy with my iPhones, I never thought, let me try something new because I didn't need to. But obviously when my iPhone 6 was bugging out and I didn't like the look of the 7 because I felt like I already kind of had the same phone, I then decided to try something new. And I'm so happy I did because I really do love my S8 Plus. I'm not saying I would never go back to iPhone, I probably will one day in the future. But for now, I'm really happy with my Samsung. I'm so happy that I switched and I don't regret it at all. Also, a lot of people were asking me if my WhatsApp is good quality. I don't know, you guys have to tell me. When I watch my snaps, they look good, but on your phone, they might look like trash. But for me, that's not a good enough reason to not have this phone. I'm not gonna get a phone with like a Z battery or that I'm not happy with, just so my snaps look good, like honey. I'd rather have a good phone with good battery and my snaps look a little bit pixelated, but I don't really know how my snaps look, so you guys have to tell me. I don't know, if you've seen my snaps, then let everyone know how shit or good they look down below. <laughs> but yeah, for me, that's not really a deal breaker. I'm, I would rather have a fast, good phone than have good snaps, but that's just me. Um, what else did people ask me? I know a few people were saying that their S8 started to lag a lot. Lag? Slag? Did I say slag? I know a lot of people were saying that their S8 has started to lag a lot. It hasn't happened to me. I mean, I just did the Oreo update and I'm so, I love it so much. So, yeah, for people asking, I love Apple. I have more Apple products than Samsung products, but as a phone, I think nothing, I don't think iPhones at the moment can touch this. Just saying. So if you are sick of your battery playing up or you have any problems or you just want to try something new, then I say go for it. Why not? You only live once. You can try the phone and if you really don't like it, sell it on eBay or something or do a little exchange and see X. I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, so to summarize, I'm very happy with Samsung. The reason I left was because my phone was being slow and the iPhone 7 just looked like the iPhone 6. Nothing really appealed to me. So I thought to try something new and I did and I'm very happy that I did because I love my Samsung. And yeah, I'd advise if you really want to go for it, then go for it. If you're happy with your iPhone, no need to change because you're happy. But if you're unhappy, then you might as well try something new. A lot of my friends have moved from iPhone to Samsung in the past few weeks. A few of my friends just got the S9 um, and they absolutely love it. So why not? If you really like customization with fonts, themes and widgets, then I would say definitely try Samsung because it's quite a lot of fun to like move things around. I always try new themes, but then I always like go back to the original one because I'm so boring. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me any comments you have below and I'll get back to you. And if you have any video requests or anything, let me know as well. And I love you all and I will see you guys in the next video.